flamingos, Terry here, and um, today we're going to do something that is all the rage. Cold pressed coffee is um, a very, very expensive thing to buy out, and I'm going to show you how to make it um, so that you can uh, save your money and make, uh, you know, with your own coffee. So, uh, yeah, instead of spending $4 for a cup of coffee, you can spend, you know, 40 cents. All right, so here's the first thing we're going to do. <clears throat> I've got a French press, uh, and this is a relatively inexpensive little gadget that you can probably get on um, Amazon. And I've got a coffee grinder because I grind my own beans. And I've got my cold Brita water filter. And uh, so what I'm going to do is, what you do is you grind your coffee beans up. I'm not going to, you know, grind them up. They're already ground. You want them to be, uh, for a French press, you want them to be a little bit uh, coarse because you don't want them to go through the French press. So that's just one thing that you should do. So it's very, very easy. You don't even actually have to, like, make water that's hot because it's cold press. That's the deal. So I just dump some of this, these grinds in and... Um, you know, put in as much as you kind of like. I don't really measure stuff. Um, I would say, you know, make it the way you like it. I tend to go a little stronger because with iced coffee and cold press, I uh, tend to put more uh, milk uh, in mine, and you can kind of manage it that way. <clears throat> the next thing you do is you pour in your cold water. Let me see if I can get it all over the counter. That tends to happen. So you pour it up to the recommended uh, height on your French press, All right, but we're not going to press it. Oh, I need to get a spoon. Sorry about that. So you stir the coffee up just like you would, you know, when you're, if you're pouring hot water in here for regular French press. But you don't, we're not going to press it. All right, so what we're going to do is stir this up. All right. And... We're going to throw a little bit of plastic wrap over top of it. All right. Put your plunger somewhere where you, because we don't need that right away. And, um, you know, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the refrigerator. And tomorrow, you let it sit overnight. Tomorrow, we're going to continue this little video and I'm going to show you how great French press, uh, actually, uh, cold press coffee is. All right. All right, so I'm going to turn you off for now, but we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And uh, uh, I put this in the refrigerator yesterday, and now it's the next morning. Amazing how TV works, right? So here's our uh, coffee in our French press that we have not pressed. I put a, a, a plastic wrap over top of it. And uh, what I'm going to do, um, there's the coffee is all floated to the top. So I'm going to push that coffee down a little bit and give it a stir just to mix it up in here. It's kind of the same way that you would uh, do it if you were doing it hot. But uh, this is all cold. This has been in the refrigerator overnight. All right. So we'll take that out. And I'll actually put the press plunger in. And I'm going to push that down. As you can see, it's going to push the coffee to the bottom. Hence the name French press, but uh, we're using the French press, you know, for kind of a little different thing today because, uh, you know, this cold press stuff seems to be all the rage. And I actually like uh, iced coffee, so this is kind of cool. They say, they say, you know, I read on the internet, so it's cute, it's got to be true that coffee is better um, made cold. I don't know, so. So here we go. I got it pressed down, and what I'm going to do is put it into my really super handy dandy cool um, vessel that I like to put it into my uh, refrigerator in. It does look a little weak, this one. I have made it stronger. I don't know why it isn't as strong as it usually is. That's because I'm making a video. It's a little tea-like. And I just pour it in, and now I've got 
called pressed coffee. A lot of the sediment will still drop to the bottom. It is a little weak. I usually like it a little darker. Anyway, so so how you may ask, do you sweeten it? Um, you know, because I like a little bit of sugar in my coffee, not a whole lot. I made this simple syrup. This is a uh, simple syrup is 50% sugar, 50% water. You put it in a pot and you dissolve the sugar and then, um, you know, let it cool and put it in a jar. Uh, it's hard to put granulated sugar into iced coffee because it doesn't melt. It just sits at the bottom. So that's how I, I do this with my iced tea too. Um, when I make iced tea, I put a little of this in, probably two teaspoons. That's about as much as I put in. But anyway, there you have it. It's cold pressed coffee. Um, I put my little, you know, plastic wrap on top or you can put a top on your thing, whatever vessel you like. And, um, and there you go. Hey, if you like our videos, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.